Okay, class, we have covered a lot of topics on the physical examination. Last week was cardiology, so I thought naturally this week we would dive right into the male genitourinary examination. Naturally from cardiology? You have already reviewed the anatomy, so now it's time to use a real person as a patient. Who would like to volunteer? I'm just kidding. We have over here John. John has volunteered to be our demonstration patient for today. As always, our high resolution video cameras will record and project in detail our findings. Here we have normal, average male genitalia. That can't be average. I sure hope not. I like to palpate the inguinal region from nodes, masses, or hernias, then head south to palpate the scrotum thoroughly and examine each testicle, feel for the epididymis posteriorly, then follow the spermatic cord up to the inguinal canal. Don't be afraid to really get in there. Of course, don't forget to examine the penis. What? Did he just say penis, not penis? Look at the urethra, skin, foreskin, and palpate the shaft. Lastly, Milk the urethra. Do what? Hold the penis. Penis. Grab with your hand, or hands as the case may be, like an udder on a milking cow. Squeeze and pull down repeatedly. Any residual fluid in the urethra will be milked out right away. Oh my. Maybe we'll send a sample of this for culture. Maybe. Looks like a lemon curd with a little bit of strawberry juice. Okay, so let's turn him around and grab his ankles. Why are you going to grab his ankles? No, not us. The patient should grab his own ankles. Or at least bend him forward all the way. Now have him relax, slip your index finger deep into his rectum. He has excellent sphincter tone. Nice. Next, palpate each lobe of the prostate, looking for consistency, symmetry, size, and anything that might be abnormal. By the way, please use surgical or other legitimate lubricant. Don't use leftover oatmeal. Then you can wash up, let the patient clean up as well. Okay, do we have any questions before we move on to the practice examinations? Yes. Yeah, what about the um, universal precautions? I'm sorry? Yeah, I know we're trying to be natural and all, but shouldn't we use gloves? <laughs> 